Hello, hi, how are you today? I want to wish you a happy new year. And this year is going to bring a lot of really good things. I can't overly emphasize that. Now, just to let you know, there are things that have been being shifted over 2022 that are going to make so many things easier for people. Now, even when you think that, you know, you had a tough year and for a lot of people, 2022 was like a living hell. It was intense. It was weird. People still getting sick and people are like, what is up with that? But if you look around you, many, many people are going through the same symptoms that you may have gone through way back. They don't have a context for it, but you do. And the good news is, is you are part of those waves of people that is now going to capture the fruits. What does that mean? What that means is that a lot of the heavy lifting was accomplished last year. Now, that also means that a lot of the easier things that you've been wishing for can start to come into place. Does that mean that people be will be without symptoms or things that they need to know? No. This is a totally new thing to be able to have your etheric body, have these connections, reconnect, you know, get the garbage out of the way, get the mind trash out of the way, get toxic people out of the way. And by now there's a lot of things out there. If you are still in the mode of thinking that you've got to learn all about narcissists, you don't have to, okay? There's a momentum here. Plenty of people know and plenty of people have written and plenty of people have talked about it. And here's furthermore, many more people have been able to get out of the trap of staying trapped in narcissistic abuse. Don't even give it your credence anymore. Focus on what is here for you now. Focus on why you're here and where you need to go. Did you forget why you were awakened in the first place? Well, I'm here to help you get jump started again. If you are struggling to feel, to feel good, to feel how this is supposed to feel, if you're wondering like, why do some people get to feel a certain way or they talk about it or they talk about heaven and on earth and bliss states and stuff like that. If you're wondering and scratching your head and thinking maybe you missed the bus, you didn't. It's time to find out how this really feels, to find out how open your heart tracker can be and yet how much it protects you and deflect so much toxic stuff for you. The design of your new um, blueprint, your whatever you want to call it, your blueprint, your light body, your etheric body, okay, those terms are sometimes a little bit interchangeable, but your chakras are just for you. You have marma points that are trying to get opened and sometimes that is where your symptoms are. Now, I've broken this down. And let me tell you, there's some good stuff coming up. If you just lift a finger, if you uh, start to really understand how to work this into your daily routine. I want to talk a little bit about married twin flames. Married twin flames are going to be a little bit maybe behind the eight ball because let me put it this way. You may be focusing in a wrong direction. What I mean is you can do stuff that focuses on your ascension, on your twin flaminess without feeling like you have to break up or divorce, maybe not right away. It's better to have a plan and it is better to learn how to do this so that it's for the good of everybody concerned, especially if you have kids. I've seen a lot of people, you know, go off like half, you know, halfway and they're like one of those early rocket launches. They're like, <laughs> and they fall flat and they crash and burn. And then they get deterred and then they get discouraged. And pretty much you, after that, all you know is that you're not having a good year. You're wondering how this fresh start to a brand new year has gone off the rails so much. So it is best to learn, learn your new body, learn a routine, learn how to navigate using your light body. Let it be your friend. It is a part of you. It's not just an it, it's you. 
you know, we think of it as like this separate part of us, this like woo woo spiritual life floating out there. No, it is you. You're rising up towards it. You have to integrate it. We do integration in our classes, in our webinars, in our sessions. That is how we help. Don't even ask me to throw down a tarot card, okay? Like, I know that backwards and forwards, but it's not going to get you where you need to be. It is not going to alleviate your symptoms. And sometimes it is going to give you some misinformation on things. You can't be vague. You have to be specific. The timeline for this major ascension plan is between 2022 to 2024. 2024 is going to bring its own challenges. We're not going to talk about that. But a lot of people are going to start hitting their speed bumps as we approach April. April is going to be uh, really a doozy in terms of energies. And every lunar cycle, every full moon, that is going to be a cycle of not contention, but it's going to be an opportunity to rid yourself of something, to purge something out, to for women to really elevate your reproductive stuff. Now, if you look around and you really pay attention to people's health, you'll see a lot of people that they're getting sick and they don't know why. Is it sick or is the old structure no longer being supported? Find out how to support yourself with your brand new structure, your brand new blueprint by taking my classes, my webinars, my sessions, and let us help you. This is what we know. This is what we do. And like I say, we do it well. We do it so that people are feeling the way that they should. Do we all have discomfort? Let me tell you something. If you think that there's a place on this planet that isn't without some form of discomfort or growing pains, you're kind of wrong. I mean, we don't want to be wrong. We like to think that there's some paradise somewhere, but there's always stuff. There's stuff to deal with. How would you like to easily, smoothly, smooth through it and glide along? That's what I'm talking about. Because no matter where you go, you're always you. No matter what your pronouns are, you're always you and you will always be you. And the you that you are is a one. So hope to see you there. Hope to help you. Stay tuned for more videos. Please like and subscribe. Please help me get the word out. There's an awful lot of misinformation. The best information comes from you because you're always you. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.